All right, so I just finished receiving the new Eden uh, FRX3. Well, I'm not exactly sure if it's new, but um, I just found it in their website. It was one of the ones that popped up first, so I figured it was new. I mainly got it because it says that you can charge an iPhone with it. Um, hopefully, I can show you that because I'm actually filming with my iPhone right now. Um, but as you can see, it says... Um, that it has a hand turbine, an AM, FM rather radio. It's supposed to have a NOAA radio too. Um, as it says over here, NOAA radio, hand turbine power, glow in the dark locator, and LED flashlight, which is on the side over here. Uh, we're gonna open it up and give it a shot and check out if this actually works. All right, so first we'll go through the obvious, the um, the buttons, I guess. Um, of course, over here is the hand crank. All right, you, you turn it, obviously. Um, you got the power button over here on the side. Let me see if we get a closer look. Got a power button right here. Over here, we've got a solar panel. Over here is the solar panel. It charges, the, it charges the batteries through solar panel. And around here, this ring over here, it's actually glow in the dark. We'll be testing that to see how strong that is. Um, inside here, you have the not sure you can actually see it but there's some buttons in here you got the alarm on and off you got the tune up the tune down you got an alert button a set button and a sell button so over here we got the battery indication you click over here to see how much charge your battery has over here is the dynamo the solar button um, of course you got your volumes up this is your volume up button right here this tur actually turns which I thought it was pretty clever On this side, you have the tuning knob. So this is your volume. This is your tuning for your radios. And I like this because it's securely in there. It's not going to be like a button that's sticking out that can just snap off. So I pretty much like that a lot. Of course, you got the speaker over here. You got a nice big speaker. It's about this big. Of course, you got their logo there. Uh, you got a little hook here for a lanyard hole. Back here we got the antenna, and over here we got the auxiliary, which this is what I really wanted it for, which I really like. You got an auxiliary over here where, where you can plug in your, your iPhone or your iPod so you can listen to some music right here. You got your headphone jack over here. You got a USB right here, and uh, I guess a Blackberry USB one. And down here, you got your batteries. Right here. You got a rechargeable battery right there. And you can also add some AAAs or AA's. I'm not exactly sure what it takes. But I'll let you know. On the side over here, we got a flashlight. With uh, three LEDs, as you can see. And I guess you hold it up here and you press down here to view it. It also comes with a with a USB uh, cable to charge the battery. And it also comes with a with a wrist lanyard for your lanyard hole. Now, one thing I don't like about it that I have not seen on it is an AC adapter port so you can't really take an AC adapter just plug it in if you have no batteries and charge it up that way now of course it has the hand crank but it would be nice to have the the AC outlet all right like I said there's many ways to turn this on uh, one way is you, know, you push the on button uh, and it'll use the internal battery which you saw in here or you can add the AAA batteries. Um, you can also charge it through the turbine or through the solar panel. Um, now if you're going to be using the internal battery, it comes loose right here and you're going to have to plug it in into the little socket right there. You just plug it in. I wasn't planning on using it just yet. I was going to just try it out with some some rechargeable AAA batteries that I have. But um, I guess I'll try it out just for demonstration purposes. 
just to make sure that the hand crank is working and the the solar, the solar panel is working as well so we'll give that a shot all right so I put on some AAA batteries and here you have it um, on the side we have two flashlights the two top ones light up see these two light up except the bottom one and then if you press it one more time you get a red light like an emergency light uh, let's see if I can turn off the light over here a little bit All right, for those of you wondering, uh, 90 seconds of cranking this crank will give you five to seven minutes depending on how loud you have the radio on or or it'll give you about 20 minutes of the flashlight. That's pretty good. You crank it for 90 seconds and you got 20 minutes of a flashlight. Can't beat that, that's pretty badass. Um, if you're charging it through the USB, which I recommend to do the first time, you know, you know how just like every other battery you have to charge it in the beginning to its maximum capacity now you don't want to put in that little that little extra rechargeable battery and crank it for 90 seconds and that's it and then you crank it every once in a while because you're going to mess up your battery on a fully charged battery your radio will last three to four hours at low volume so three to four hours, maybe an hour to two hours if you have it really loud. Now, what what I really wanted to know and which I was kind of disappointed in was that the, the solar panel takes 10 hours of direct sunlight to charge your battery. It'll let you know over here whether it's charging or not. Um, but it takes 10 hours to charge in direct sunlight I'm not talking about light inside your room incandescent light or having it inside right by the window you cannot do that it tells you straight up in the manual that you cannot put it in the middle in the window you gotta keep it outside directly at sunlight now 10 hours of sunlight I mean there's only a couple of hours that it's actually gonna stand the Sun is gonna be right above my my charger I mean, if you're charging in the morning, the light, the sun's gonna be coming from over here, and it's not gonna capture this because this is not like the swivel. So you're gonna have to be kind of, you're gonna have to lean it in the morning, in the afternoon, put it up, and then in the evening, put it on the side to fully charge it. So it'll take you all day to charge, and you will have to keep an eye on it, which I found kind of disappointing. I mean, I just wanted to put it outside, forget about it. Ten hours later, bam, I'm ready. All right, so now to turn on the radio, what you gotta do is press on. And this is your volume. Right now it's an A. Right now it's an AM. So you go up here and you click up or down. I'm pretty satisfied with the volume. I mean, I don't need it to uh, start a party at a barbecue or anything like that. Again, this is for emergency purposes. All right, so that was AM. We'll try FM. So this is FM. And you can, you can either tune with this button. And if by any chance this ends up breaking, you can always use the button on top which I actually really like. Alright, so to uh, try the NOAA to, or your weather station, what you do is press on. And the manual says you'll probably get about two, one channel of your weather station in your local area, possibly two if you're in a more bigger in the near city or whatever um, so we'll see what's up I'm not getting anything there and I'm getting something here
este M Y R S doblado. All right, so I got three stations. I got two uh, English one and a, and a Spanish one. So that's I like that a lot. Okay, so I charged the the little glow in the dark uh, bevel around the around the top of the solar panel for about just ten seconds with a flashlight, and I think it's pretty decently bright. I mean, in the dark, you will be able to find this. Now, one cool thing I liked about this, in case in a of a survival situation, an emergency situation, that you're panicked and you break this, uh, and you break this uh, handle off because it is plastic. Um, as you can see over here on the sides, it has the the rod that's holding it in. So if this thing snaps off. You can pull this off, come over with a makeshift little stick there with a little drilled hole, put another little rod in there. And you're set. You got yourself a new little handle, which I thought was pretty creative. Not many of them have that. All right. So unfortunately, I cannot show you it charging, but it did work. Now, it did not work with the AAA batteries. Um, I could not charge my iPhone with my AAA batteries for some weird reason. I might give it another shot, but I don't think it was working. When I charged the battery, I charged the battery for says two hours and I actually charged it for like two and a half hours just to be sure all you do is plug it in press sell and it starts powering your battery that fast that simple since I can't do my iPhone I'll try my old iPod now as you can see there's no battery completely dead plug that in press sell and there you have it please wait very low battery all right I also noticed that while I'm walking around with this I tend to press this by mistake the little light and it turns on, so it probably wastes its battery while I'm doing that. It's not really in a really convenient spot, especially when you're grabbing hold of this. Now, although although it's an extremely cloudy day, and it's already about seven, eight o'clock, and there's no sun out there, if you point this up here, let me see, it starts to charge. So it is pretty good, even in uh, in dim weather. As you can see, it's just cloudy. If you take it away, it'll stop. I like that. All right, so I almost forgot that you can connect a auxiliary cable to the to the Eden. Um, unfortunately, they do not provide a an auxiliary cable, but I happen to have one because I'm a badass. So, there you go. All you do is put press uh, on, leave it in the radio stations, and press. So there you have it. This is the uh, Eden Red Cross 